Right. Who's got my Maroon 5 CD? It's gone missing. Well? You call setting fire to my whole kitchen a favour? Well, it really needed redecorating. I've just fast-forwarded things a little. Can you be so thoughtless? All my savings will have to go on repairs. Me thoughtless? You haven't even thanked me for making your breakfast. was completely unnecessary. I could have handled it. So, we'll have my own bedroom at your mum's or we'll have to share with you. What? Well, we can't stay in this mess, can we? Look, I can't take you to my mum's. She's no good with kids. So where are we going? A hotel. We won't have to lift a finger. We can have room service and everything. <laughs> but there's no money for hotels. I'm going to my mum's. Just me. Hello? You can't leave me here on my own. The authorities won't like it. I'm not leaving you here. Where then? Just for a bit, until the repairs. I'm taking you back to the... You're taking me back to the dumping ground. Don't fart. Mum? Mum, this is my friend Tracy. He uh, fell out of a tree. Don't worry. I think it's only a sprain. He'll be all right in a few days. Well, thank you very much for bringing him home. This is your mum? Nice to meet you, Tracy. Would you and your dad like to come in for some tea? I don't want any of your stinking tea. And he is not my dad. Have a good laugh, did you, in your fancy house with your fancy mum? I hate you, you big fat liar! I should uh, go. Oh, right. Well, uh, thanks again for bringing him home. Mind your ankle. Yeah. What was that all about? Nothing. Uh, how could she think you were my dad? Not nearly good looking enough. You all right? Yeah. It better after one of Duke's double cheeseburger specials with extra toppings. Take me home. Believe me now. I will win some I don't know if this is such a good idea. I mean, I just don't feel really very mumsy. But Bouncy, you promised. OK. But you lot got to stay outside. And no peeping. Mum's the word. Mum? <laughs> and no taking the mickey. You are, sir. Can I have an alien, please? Oh, not you again. Look, I told you yesterday, this is a Mother's Day promotion, and for that, believe it or not, you need to bring your mother. But I have. Well, hello. <laughs> How about 
about a nice romantic dinner, sweetheart? Uh, I'm on a diet. I know a place where they do wonderful salads. I'm uh, allergic to lettuce. Uh, one leaf and I go all puffy, like a big puffy puffball. It's not a pretty sight, really. And then there's a the 50% chance of me exploding. <laughs> oh, oh, you're funny too. I like that in a woman. Well, you wouldn't like my little monkeys. They come with me wherever I go. <laughs> Have some crisps. Please, Mummy. No! What lovely children! Go on, give us your number. Hi, I'm Cam Lawson. Hello, Jenny Edwards. Do come in. Excitement. Anyway. Okay. Maxie, Justine was going to sit there. Off, please. Right, why don't we show Cam your life books? Adela couldn't find yours. Oh, it's in my room. I'll go and get it. Oh, who's putting my stuff? This is my granny. She is dead, and so is my mum. They're angels in heaven now. <coughs> Someone's been using all my makeup. Oh, yeah, there's only one person missing, and when I get my hands on her, I'm going to kill her. Hello! At first, the crowd was stunned into silence as Tracy Beaker, the glamorous best selling writer, arrived to be interviewed by another famous best selling writer. Then they couldn't control themselves a moment longer and went absolutely wild. Nobody told us there was going to be a freak show. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Justine, Louise. Tracy, apologise to Adele. What for? Even you can't deny using her makeup with that much evidence on your face. Tracy. Sorry. Sorry! You will be. Now, Tracy, come and meet Cam. Tracy's the girl I told you about who wants to become a writer. Tracy, a writer? Yeah, that's really gonna happen. Give that back! I'm Tracy Deeker with my incredible heartrending stories. <laughs> Tragic. She's only cut out a picture from a magazine pretending it's her mum. <laughs> you two girls should have got that! <laughs> Be with you in a second, all right? Oh, oh what on earth? <laughs> My cheese sauce! <laughs> hey, who put you up to this, hey? No one, it wasn't me! Listen, I'm going to take my sock and wring it out and serve it up to them. Are you going to go rescue Tracy? What? She really is stuck up a tree. It does. I haven't finished yet. Oh, yes, you have. You snitched, Peter, enough. If he hadn't told us, you'd have been stuck up there all day. I wasn't stuck. I was resting. What's that spot, Charles? Socks in cheese sauce. Anything to do with you? How could it be? I've been stuck up a tree. <laughs> what are you waiting for, Justine? Rubber gloves? Justine Littlewood. 
What's the matter, Tracy? You can't stand it because you finally met someone more daring than you. No one's more daring than me. I dare you to eat a worm. You're not scared of worms, are you? I'm not scared of anything. It doesn't matter how creepy, crawly, hairy, slimy it is. Go on, take it. It's a lovely little worm. It's a lovely, lovely. Oh, what's the matter with your kid? She's always been in my ear about having a pet. <laughs> She's never going to. She finally met someone more daring than you. Now, what shall I dare you to do next? Forget it. You have me jumping off the roof or something. I'm not killing myself for you, Tracy Beaker. You are a total headcase. Tracy Beaker, champion Deirdre, can now reclaim her rightful bedroom. Thank you.